with the Indian National Selection Committee led by Ajit Agarkar set to convene in a few days to pick the squad for the T20 World Cup. All eyes were on a few star players who were on the spotlight at the Eden Gardens as Kolkata Knight Riders took on Rajasthan Royals. While the game was a last ball thriller, a few players were out on the field who could be in for a shout for a T20 World Cup race. Up front is Yashasri Jaiswal. For Jaiswal, time is running out. He hasn't been able to set the IPL stage on fire. With the likes of Rohit Sharma, who will lead India in the T20 World Cup, Virat Kohli, another option as an opener, and Shukman Gill, who is Yashasvi's direct competition for that third opener slot, scoring heavily in the IPL so far, Yashasvi's 121 runs in 7 matches to reach the poor statistic card. He was once again a disappointment against Kolkata Knight Riders as he managed just 19 runs in the back. Not only has Yashwal failed to replicate his confidence from other formats, the Southpaw has been termed guilty of trying to hit the ball too hard by the commentators. If Yashasri Jaiswal continues to disappoint, then he might well be overtaken by Shubman Gill in the T20 World Cup race. Second in the list is Sanju Samson. Selectors have been keeping a close eye on Sanju Samson owing to a fantastic start to his IPL 2024 season with the bat. The Rajasthan Royals captain is fourth in the orange cap race with 276 runs at a thunderous strike rate of 155. However, Sanju knows that he can't afford a blip in his run scoring form given that he is not an India regular. Against KKR, Samson had a fantastic opportunity to take one more step forward towards that World Cup, but could manage just 12 runs. Samson knows he is in the race for the World Cup, but will have to continue to score runs in plenty before the squad is picked. Third is Avesh Khan. Avesh Khan has emerged as one of the players who is likely to be part of that Indian T20 team for the World Cup. The Rajasthan Royal Spacer has been in tracking form in the ongoing IPL with 7 wickets to his name at an economy rate of 9. His economy rate is impressive as he has been bowling the difficult overs in the power play and death. On a day when KKR scored 223 runs, Avesh once again was impressive as he ended up conceding just 35 runs while picking up 2 wickets from his 4 overs. He even bowled a game-changing 17th over where he conceded just 7 runs while bagging the big wicket of Andre Russell. If he continues to impress the selectors, Avesh will most likely head to the T20 World Cup. Yuzvendra Chahal is also an interesting debate point. There has been a lot of debate around Yuzvendra Chahal's contention for the T20 World Cup. He is, after all, IPL's leading wicket-taker with 12 wickets at an economy rate of 8. Year in, year out, Chahal turns up in the IPL and performs well but misses out on the bus for the T20 World Cup. It was an off day for Chahal against KKR as Sunil Narayan the batter came down heavily against him as he conceded a total of 54 runs in his 4 overs. With odds heavily stacked against Chahal in the race for the T20 World Cup, such outings will do more harm to his contention for the showpiece event. Whereas Riyan Parag once again had an impressive outing as he gave Rajasthan Royals the acceleration boost they needed in the middle overs with his 34 of 14. Parag has been in fine form in this IPL as he sits second in the orange cap list with 318 runs in 7 matches at a strike rate of 161. If he continues to impress in the next couple of games, don't be surprised if Riyan Parag makes the squad for the T20 World Cup in some capacity, whether as a part of the squad or as a standby player. One thing for sure, he is definitely in the race and has impressed the selectors and captain Rohit Sharma. From the KKR side, it would be fair to say that Shreya Sayer is all but out of the race for the T20 World Cup. After missing out on the central contract list earlier this year, odds were against Ayer to make the cut for the T20 World Cup. 
and his dismal form in the IPL has just put a full stop to it. He has managed just 140 runs in the IPL at a poor strike rate of 122. He hasn't been at his fluent best and has been struggling to tie the ball to perfection. Against Rajasthan Royals, when batters had a good hit, Ayer just managed 11 runs in what was yet another lousy show with the bat by the KKR skipper. Whereas Rinko Singh is all but a certainty for the T20 World Cup, and should be one of the starters in the playing 11 as well. Rinku has been carrying a side niggle and has not been fielding for this franchise. But he will be back to his 100% fitness in KKR's next game against RCB on April 21. With KKR's top order firing all cylinders, Rinku hasn't had the opportunity to face too many deliveries and has scored 83 runs in 51 balls in this IPL at a strike rate of 162. With Rinku almost a done deal for the T20 World Cup, selectors and Indian team management would hope for optimum fitness from Rinku. So these were the players from the KKR vs Rajasthan Royals match who were on the spotlight in regards to the T20 World Cup selection. What are your thoughts from the cracker of a game last evening? Let us know in the comment section below and keep following Red Sports for more.